Like its three-year-old predecessor, the Ricoh GR2 is a standout, if all you want is great photos for about $700 or 600 pounds, and as long as you're willing to work a little for them. I'm Laurie Grunin for CNET, and this is the Ricoh GR2. An enthusiast compact with a fixed 28mm f2.8 lens and a relatively big APS-C size sensor. It mainly just adds Wi-Fi for remote shooting and file transfer with phones and tablets. Because the rest of it is old, though, it feels a little dated, with slow autofocus and low light and mediocre video and movie options. This camera is all about the photos. With its default settings, high contrast JPEGs under certain circumstances come out a little flat, and there's a lot of blurring from noise reduction by ISO 6400. But there's also a lot you can do with the RAWs, and a ton of settings in the camera for tweaking the JPEGs. I wouldn't paint a racing stripe on it, but it's fast enough for most street and landscape photography, which are its primary uses, and for shooting some types of action. And there's a lot to like. It's a good size and weight, with a decent rubberized grip that makes it easy to shoot single-handed. And once you've configured it to your taste, it's quite streamlined to use. I don't really like the feel of the manual focusing, but it does have a full press snap mode that automatically focuses at a user-specified distance when you press the shutter button. On the other hand, the camera's surprisingly complicated given that it doesn't have a huge feature set. Plus, if you've got vision issues, you may have a problem with the tiny print in the menus. As for the Wi-Fi, it has a somewhat bare-bones wireless transfer app, which is supplemented by a seriously full-featured tethered shooting web application called Ricoh GR Remote that can control almost every setting in the camera. It's a nice camera for inconspicuous and quick street shooting or as a travel camera for the landscape fan, but if you're looking for something that's equally adept at video or offers the shooting angle flexibility that a movable LCD or a viewfinder provides, this may not be the camera for you. For more detail beyond just the highlights, pop over to CNET to read the full review.